I blame my mother for all of my problems. It's her fault for who I am. I blame my mom for not teaching me any necessary life skills. I have been spoon-fed and babied by her. Taylor acts like a spoiled brat when she doesn't get her way. I pay all the bills. Taylor spends her paycheck on Gucci sunglasses, bags. I feel like I created somewhat of a monster, but the way I spoiled her and she's always gotten her way. Taylor tells me that I haven't taught her any life skills and I don't think that's true at all. She's very lazy. Taylor can't function without me in her life. She dropped out of college. I think she's living like she's 12. I'm trying to make her a better person and showing her responsibility, but when I try to explain to her, you know, the responsibilities, she just refuses to listen to me. I'm not living up to my full potential. I'm 23 years old and have no idea how to take care of myself. I'm terrible with money. I used the mop for the first time the other day and I could hardly boil water. My mom still does my laundry. Up until recently, she made my bed. She shrunk clothes, she burned food. Right now, all I pay for is my phone bill. My mom asks me for rent when she's angry with me about something. And then when I give it to her, she doesn't take it. I write her a check. She doesn't cash it. Taylor needs to grow up. I fear that Taylor will not be able to uh, survive on her own and she will be dependent on me forever. You think she has legitimate complaints about you as a mother growing up? Yeah, I do. And, and, and I, I mean, I, how many times do I have to say I'm sorry? Um, I don't know. I mean, being, a, being an alcoholic, I mean... Wait a minute. You asked a question and then you kept talking. Yeah, and, sorry. So let me answer it. Sorry. You said, how many times do I have to say I'm sorry? Once, if you mean it. Because I'll tell you when she is going to be able to close the book on this. And she doesn't even know this, I'll guarantee you, but she's going to be able to put this behind her when she hears a sincere, unqualified, unjustified, apology at the level where she can clearly see that you get, you fully get, you fully understand the impact of what you did growing up as a mother. And, and unless and until she understands that you get it, that you understand what she feels cheated of, what she feels that you took from her. You said she was everything to me. No, she wasn't everything to you because you chose the bottle over her many times. And you say, you're sorry in the first half of the sentence and you defend it in the second half. Well, what's so frustrating about back, back in those days is, is I don't remember a, whole, a lot. So I can't apologize. I mean, I would love to be able to remember. I mean, I, I don't want to, but I mean, some of the damage I did to her, I don't remember. Because um, I blacked out a lot.